emisión.net Hello and welcome again to Letter from England, broadcasting for AC Press and the Spanish Evangelical Alliance. Letter from England looks at Spain from the outside, having been on the inside for many years. And this week I want to take you to what's often called La España Profunda, the deep Spain or the real Spain. Well inland, hundreds of miles from the normal tourist spots, uh, well away from the coast to the town of Puerto Llano uh, a mining town uh, at least uh, it was until fairly recently there's not much left of that industry now but a, a town that certainly grew uh, on the back of the mining industry which was established there in 1873 situated in the uh, province of Ciudad Real but over a hundred miles southwest of the capital Madrid Puerto Llano has a population of about 50,000 and that uh, might be considered a uh, a typical uh, town of the interior. A town which uh, has a long history, of course, uh, in religious terms of uh, Roman Catholic uh, domination, and one where the evangelical church has struggled uh, to make an impact. And yet today there is a thriving uh, evangelical church in the town. Uh, just over a hundred uh, baptized members under the leadership of the pastor Emilio Moreno. And we go to Puerto Llano this week because several public meetings have been held there in the last uh, uh, few days uh, in the civic centre of the town on the occasion of the presentation of a book relating the hundred-year history of the evangelical church there. Uh, the participants included the current mayor, Joaquin Hermoso, uh, the evangelical theologian and journalist, José de Segovia, and uh, the aforementioned pastor of the church, Emilio Moreno, who described his church's history as a century full of ups and downs. Uh, the book, uh, simply called uh, The History of Puerto Llano Evangelical Church, recaptures much of the atmosphere, atmosphere of those pioneer years for the gospel uh, in this arid land. Uh, it relates how the gospel first arrived there around the beginning of the 20th century uh, and contains testimonies of many families and individuals who came to accept Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Saviour. Uh, the first Christians uh, came from uh, a region a little bit to the southeast around uh, Linares and La Carolina, uh, again a mining area, uh, but uh, one in which uh, Christian influence had been fairly considerable uh, through uh, uh, English um, uh, mining uh, people who came across, uh, many of them being Christians al already, and the gospel uh, began to make inroads uh, into the local Spanish society. Back in Puerto Llano, Moreno comments, we look back on a century of evangelical witness which went through turbulent times, like that of the Second Republic when the anarchists closed the church, or the years following the Civil War when Franco also closed the church. Uh, the pastor received death threats and had to leave town. Those were the hard times, especially for the individual believers who had to suffer the brutality of the dominant church, i.e. the Catholic Church. Well, several people have worked on the book, but anonymously, uh, one Christian in particular put all the information together and another gave it its definitive literary form. Uh, at its presentation, the mayor thanked the Evangelical Church for the invitation, to which various journalists and other local pastors had also responded. Perhaps the most colourful figure uh, from the history of uh, the uh, church in Puerto Llano is uh, erstwhile pastor and schoolmaster, uh, Salvador González, uh, a man of uh, uh, a fairly lively temperament, we might say. Uh, and until eventually uh, Franco closed his school down, uh, one who taught generations uh, of uh, uh, citizens in Puerto Llano. The church, as I said, really grew when mining developed in the town. Uh, and in 1925, the English uh, Miners' Mission sent money for the construction of a chapel there, which, although somewhat altered and extended, is uh, the same building uh, as uh, where the church continues to meet today on one of the main streets uh, through the town. At the public meeting, Moreno explained uh, that a major difference between the evangelical and Catholic churches is their source of inspiration. Uh, whereas Catholics look to the magisterium or government of their church, to Rome, uh, to the Pope and to church councils, which uh, can, if necessary, even contradict what the scriptures say, evangelicals look only to the Bible, the word of God, as their final authority. 
Uh, Moreno also pointed out that the freedom evangelicals enjoy today was unheard of not so long ago, and it was good to see the local and regional media well represented at the various events. In fact, the regional television uh, station recorded the church service uh, and also an interview uh, with the pastor. Well, this is the real Spain, uh, where day by day, uh, perhaps uh, to the outsider, an unexciting uh, gospel work goes on. Uh, but there's no work more exciting than seeing people come to know uh, Jesus as their Lord and Saviour, which is Emilio Moreno's uh, desire, uh, and also that, of course, of all Christians in Spain. And it's particularly poignant, perhaps, in the town of Puerto Llano. Uh, the town's name is the source of a common local joke, which says that Puerto Llano, which literally means flat pass, is the town of two lies, because the town is neither a pass nor is it flat. Well, how good to see the truth going out in a town of lies. Thank you for listening uh, to Letter from England. You can find it on emission.net every week. Goodbye for now. Emission.net